here's the trailer. Finally done, for now at least. So I have plywood storage over here. Track storage. Level storage. In the drawers. I have shovels, rakes, digging bars, demo bars, sledgehammers. This one's all painting supplies. This is electrical and plumbing. This has paint poles, a dust barrier kit, tripod for transit or laser level. There's two uh, four gallon buckets with roof harness kits inside. This store is eight feet long. I have air. This you'll see later is hooked up to a reel. I have 150 feet of air hose on a reel. Here's a power cord that's 100 feet, 10 gauge cord on a reel that I can run out of the trailer and plug in and that'll power up the trailer. I also have a cord on the side that I can just plug right into and unplug. So I plug that in at night, it'll charge the batteries, both my cordless batteries and the battery that runs the 12 volt lighting. And then in the morning when I go to leave for work, I can just unplug it and I don't have to open the trailer up or do anything else. And in the event that I forgot to unhook it, it'll just pull itself out and unplug. So going in the trailer, I have all my tools in, or my grab, my kind of grab bag. So I have a carpentry bag. I have a bag with nothing but screwdrivers and wrenches. This is plumbing. This also has some, a little bit of electrical stuff in it. I have... This might move, but I have my 18 inch roller bucket, chop saw. We have moving blankets to put down, other drop cloths, more small fasteners. Up here's my uh, Polk compact bench, and it slides up all the saw horses and everything for it go inside it, and then it's just clamped on. That, that's hold, what holds it in place. Down here are all my screw bins. And so these are all retained with this bar. And so this won't open. I raise the bar and it comes right out. Up here we have general, a little bit of spray paints, finishes, spray adhesive, glue, hand cleaner, chalk, uh, all the tape measures. I made this from part of an old framing square that I knew wasn't square anymore, but I reused it and cut it off. We have chargers. These are all wired in up above. Um, all the drawers utilize just a little tiny uh, 3 16 tall piece of hard oak here. And that's what retains them. The drawers have a notch. See, to open them, you lift and pull and right here there's this little notch and that that piece of oak catches on this and that's what keeps them all in while we're going down the road so this is all marking tools layout tools blades A little bit of clamps, airbags. This one I'll fill up with more stuff. The drawers are still getting broken a little bit. Some wrenches, files, kind of carpentry stuff. More carpentry stuff. Big skew. 
big grill bits, whole hog. These drawers are way well, work better when I'm not holding the camera. Drill bits. This drawer needs to be sorted still, but uh, I got to initially sorted for now. This is just kind of a little jigging. Uh, I do have some sharpening stuff, but a lot of little jigs and whatnot. Electrical tools. Uh, hole saws. A lot of hole saws. For some brad point bits. Uh, spade bits. There's some Forstner bits in there. A little bit of everything. This is a little bit of chalk boxes and staplers. This will fill up more too. Some sheet metal tools, scrapers, kind of a little bit less used tools for me in this one. So, down here you see I've got nail guns and multi-tools, grinders, sanders, regular corded drill, power planer, belt sander, belt sander, all my cordless stuff. Up here we've got more cordless, Festool track saw, uh, die grinder, corded sawzall, power sheet metal shears, heat gun, jigsaw, uh, handheld little spindle sander, Craig jig, laminate trimmer, uh, stapler, 2 inch 18 gauge pinner, we got roofing nailer, a little socket set, siding coil nailer, Two and a half finish, Tico nailer, two framing guns, um, metal skill saw, port band, ten and a quarter inch uh, little beam saw, worm drive, mixing drill. Up here, this is kind of my junk drawer here. We have batteries uh, that have been charged. This needs to get reorganized, but uh, still a work in progress. So turning around here, we got texture guns, some lighting, cabinet jacks, cordless vacuum, heater, little carpet fan, uh, roto ham little roto hammers here, my big ones in the case over there. Uh, what else we got? Laser levels in this drawer, and a little bit of shims. The safety drawer. Glasses, earplugs, gloves, harnesses, caution tape, first aid kit, masks. This is all uh, caulking drawers. I got uh, 29 ounce caulking gun, 19 or 10 ounce caulking guns, uh, spray foam gun. These are epoxy guns. This is for sausage tubes, caulking mixers. These are cleaning tools for. Uh, when you're doing epoxy to anchors in concrete, you have to clean the holes. So that's what those brushes are for. And these are accessories for the sausage tube gun and tooling for it and things like that. Router drawer with a bunch of accessories for that. Table saw, got some extra cartridges both for dado and and otherwise uh, dado set push sticks throw plates abrasives grinding wheels sandpaper some clamps little uh transit level this will fill up with more stuff to come taping this is great. I've always had all this stuff just in a heaping box and half the time I don't have it and so I have to buy more because I don't have it with me. And so this is just all taping sandpaper. A little uh, vacuum holds a sanding sponge like this and a vacuum shroud goes around it. Uh, this is also a vac sander for the mesh pads. All my taping tools, my banjo. Didn't know I played the banjo, but I do. More sheetrock hanging tools, accessories here, glue gun, tape, 
This is a Festool Domino. I ended up keeping this case because it holds all the accessories. I've got a different clamp here that goes on my uh, Festool track, and these are vacuum accessories for the Festool. This is all uh, blades, skill saw blades, table saw blades, chop saw blades, just a drawer of different kinds of plastic and masking materials. Rain gear, safety vest, knee pads, hard hat. So over here we have ladders. Normally I have another ladder, but that's what it's using to uh, store everything with. I have this bungee I made with three hooks on it. So depending whether I have one, two, or three ladders, I can just hook the bungee right over here. Over here I have uh, saw horses. Way in the back, you'll see a uh, pop-up tent. It's a little bit hard to get to because I got to take all this stuff out, but uh, it's there for a rainy day when I have it, so I'm glad it's here. This board just comes out, and that's what retains these. Same with the uh, pop-up tent. This is sitting on a hook. It'll just lift right off. That's my little bench. Over here I have a garbage can, obviously. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the wall up here, but something's going to go there. There's the vent I put in. Keep the humidity down, which has been working good. So over here I have brooms. I got this little rack that holds my uh, board ripper for sheetrock and holds T-square. Back in the corner there's a wand for the vacuums. This is probably the messier area here of my uh, my cabinet, but uh, it's a work in progress. I got big framing nail gun uh, nails and finished nail gun nails and some kind of back stock of some legs and different things. Same thing. These just lift out. There's uh, my mini Festool shop vac. Up here is extra hose and va all the vac filters for everything more fasteners this bin holds caulking big festool vac um, behind this you can see there's a wall back there there's a panel that removes and back there is uh, the battery for the brakes the battery for all the lighting and my powered trailer jack and the wiring for all these, uh, the lighting, the wires in all these sensors. This is a little motion sensor here, and there's one in the back to wire in the lighting that's hooked to a relay back there. Um, and there's an outlet back there with a charger, trickle charger that goes to the battery. So when the trailer's plugged in, the trickle charger charges the battery. Later on, I'll probably add another battery or two uh, with an inverter at some point in time. Over here, bucket storage shims, drywall sander, my uh, Dewalt chop saw stand. And this is held in place with this little pull pin that pulls out. And that just keeps it in there. The bottom, the bottom's held, and then the top's held with the pull pin. So here we have, obviously, hose and cord storage. Uh, there's a pocket inside, holds a three-way extension adapter. Here I've got a uh, 115 to 20 amp adapter. Here is my uh, table saw. And it's held in place with this little clamp. Very low pressure, but it's just enough to keep it from popping off or any chance of falling over. So down on the ground, there's a cleat that retains the frame of the cart. And then there's a cleat on the wall that helps support the table so that the clamp is never putting much pressure through the table hook for my uh, tool belt the compressor is held in with that cleat and it has just this short hose here that uh, just hangs out and so this reel is what you saw in the back and so this will unwind I can just pull it and it unwinds on its own and then I can plug in this and I have air now 
there's a plug underneath that the compressor plugs into so the compressor never leaves the trailer here's the extension cord uh, same that'll just pull and it uh, goes right out the back and in the event that I'm powering the trailer with the reel then the way the trailer gets powered is this comes undone and plugs into the reel now what I have to watch right now is this lights telling me it's on because the trailers plugged in through the outside connection this is hot so in the meantime to keep it safe I just keep it plugged in up there I got a little holder for my upside down paint gun sits on a magnet just so it doesn't go anywhere those hoses go through these kind of custom bent uh, PVC pipes and I just heated them up with the propane torch and I made a little jig to help me hold the bend and uh, just bent them and let them cool made this little holder for upside down paint clear sprayed keep down uh, paint lines chalk lines marked down on concrete so they don't wash away I made this little box that holds all my uh, concrete tools minus my bull floats and stuff but uh, if I'm doing that big of concrete work I can bring that with me and then you can see the pipes custom bent kind of going through there a little bit and that's it that's the trailer <laughs>